coach, welcome. Um, you are unbeaten so far in your um, debut Premier League season. What's your take on the team's performance um, up to this point? I think the boys have done a human job. Um, it's not easy to uh, learn new things and be able to apply. Uh, it's not easy to go into a new environment and be able to get uh, the kind of success that um, we have been able to get. Um, so I allowed my boys for making sure that you know everything that we're teaching as a technical team, they're taking it and um, they're taking it to the field and it's giving us the results we want. Of course, every team would want to win all the three games, but to go on beating is a, is a huge feat in the Ghana Premier League. So we're very happy for that. What are your expectations for the game against the reigning champions of the Ghana Premier League? I'm actually expecting a very difficult game. Um, Samatex is a very, very good side. They have a very good coach. Uh, their players are very well trained and drilled. So going away to them, I know it's going to be a very difficult game, but Vision also has a different mentality uh, coming into the Premier League. We have a different project, and um, the mentality that these boys take into the games is amazing. Um, you you saw us play Legon Cities. Uh, we'll go down, but these boys came out all guns blazing in the second half. They made sure that they got uh, the equaliser and nearly got the, uh, the winner as well. So we have a different mentality. Yes, we're going away. Yes, it's a difficult grounds, but we're going there with, with, with a very positive attitude. We want to go and win. So whatever points we come out of um, f uh, from Summer Attacks, I think is going to be a huge, huge point. Talking about positive... Um, okay, so um, are there any positive mentality? Are there any um, specific approach or tactics or strategies you want to uh, put out in this game? Of course, I mean, we... We've been training a lot um, on different systems um, this week. We're looking at from between medium press to high press. So that's going to be uh, something that we're going to take into the game. Depending on the reactions of um, their back line, we're either going to press high or we're going to go with the medium press. So it all depends on their, their actions that will provoke a reaction from us. Um, but whichever way, I think that the boys are ready and uh, we're going to go in and try to win this game. You have a very good away record so far this season. How important is it to maintain um, that momentum against um, Samatex? The Premier League is a very difficult um, league to play in. So if you go away and you're able to get a result, it's always a, a motivation to all of us. Uh, the boys have done it at Accra Sports Stadium. We're going a long away uh, to Summer Boy and we are hoping that we'll be able to repeat the feat. Um, if we are able to repeat that feat, that would be, that'll be grand. That would be grand. It, it's going to push their motivation, uh, their actions, their reactions. It's going to push it into a different gear. So, like I said, we've trained on different things, and we're going to take it in there to try to grab the points. If we're able to do it, then Vision it will, will still be on wheels, and we're going to make sure that we go all out. In the last game, we saw um, Godfrey Boachi, who had been out uh, for some time, uh, make um, season debut. Um, outside is coming on. Are we going to see, um, or do we have any injury concerns go, um, um, leading to the game against um, Samatex on Sunday? It's awesome to have Godfrey Boachi back. Um, very, very intelligent defensive midfielder. Um, very good with his short passing and command in, in that defensive midfield area. He's a huge addition to uh, those that we already have. We also have Nanasai back, you know, our midfield general who can control things with just a touch. So, I mean, we have some of the magic back, and that's really, really good. Um, but, of course, um, Frempon and Mensa are still out. Frempon is a box-to-box -box player that we actually miss in the middle of the field. And then, of course, Mensa, uh, one of the uh, best wingers that we have that if he's also in the team, will really push us forward. But unfortunately, those two are out. We are hoping that by probably in two or three weeks, we can have them back. And if we do, then we can have a full house. But, I mean, if you take them out, everybody else is ready. Everybody else is ready for selection or is available for selection. So I think that the technical team will have a, a huge task coming up in terms of uh, this away game. Speaking of the 
availability of players for selection. Um, LeBron was absent um, in the last game um, due to his involvement with the national under-20 team. Um, are we going to see him this this weekend um, against Samotex? No, I think that we're still going to give LeBron um, some time off uh, for him to concentrate on his national duties. It's very important. It's always a privilege for your player to be called into the national team. So we're going to leave him there. Uh, we have other people to take the reign, and um, we're going to make sure that we replace him really well. And whoever plays, I'm sure, would, would know that LeBron will be breathing down their necks. So we'd want to put in um, a good show just so they'll be able to keep uh, the position. So, um, I mean, we wish LeBron all the best in the national team. We hope to see him back soon, but going to Samurai Boy, he's going to be out most definitely. My final question, um, what should the fans look out for um, in the game against Summer Techs? Well, I mean, the Wolf fans have been there, Wolf fans we, since we started, uh, you know, uh, even when we, we get our draw, they're disappointed because I think that they believe in the team really, really well and we're very, very proud of them for the motivation they give us. We're very proud of them for giving us all the, um, the needed push in the Ghana Premier League. They've done really, really well uh, from the first game against Bechem to Accra Lions and then to Legon Cities. They've done really well. They've backed us. They've uh, cheered us on. You know, sometimes fans, where you need to be cheered, they cheer you. But we know that it's because of passion. So um, as much as probably they might not be able to travel to Samra Boy, wherever they are, they should keep us in, in, in their prayers. And we promise to make them proud. We're going to go there. We're going to come out uh, with some good results. And when we do, we know that there will fans, when they see us back in Tema, they're going to be very, very, very happy. So we, we're going to go all out in, in, in their name. And we're going to make sure that we come back with something in our hands for them. All right, thank you, Coach, and all the best.